Hi guys, welcome back. This is Chang's Chinese Classroom. Today is lesson two. The topic is you speak Chinese like a native speaker. This is part one. And uh, let's take a look at those sentences. First one. 站在那儿别动 With me. 站在那儿别动 Okay. First, take a look at this. 那儿 that means there, all right? Na means there. And this one, na, means that. So, na together means that place, there, right? And this is our new word, jan. Jan. When it used as a verb, it means to stand here. We take this meaning for this lesson. To stand, all right? To stand, this one, zai, in or on or at. So stand at there, stand over there, and this one be it means don't, don't, and don't to move. So be it don't, don't move. All right. So stood there, do not move. If you if you hear this from a Chinese policeman, just phrase, do not move. All right. Stand over there and do not move. Next one, light. 站在我的旁边。Alright, with me. 来,站在我的旁边。Light means to come, right? To come. So, lie here function as come over. And the 站 to stand at 我的, my, 旁边, side or beside. Alright, so... Come over, stand at, sorry, stand at my side. Come over and stand by my side. Okay, next one. 我的眼睛是黑色的. Right, with me. 我的眼睛是黑色的. Great. That's blue vocabulary. Uh, 眼睛, 眼睛, that's your eye. All right, 眼睛, that's your eye. And this is the color black. 黑色, 黑 means black, and 色 is general calling for the color. So dark color, black color, black. All right. So 我的眼睛, that would be my eye. 是, are, 黑色, black. Here's just the function word. 我的眼睛是黑色的. My eyes are black. Exactly the same, right? And take a look at the second part. 我的眼睛也是黑色的. Alright, with me. 我的眼睛也是黑色的. Okay. This one, 眼睛... Here, take a look at the pinyin one more time. 眼睛, that's third tone and first tone. 眼睛, alright? And this is our new word, 眼睛, the same 眼 for your eye, alright? 眼, and the second one, 睛, for fourth tone, here. 眼睛, fourth tone, that's the glasses. That's the glasses, right? So fourth tone, this 睛 means the mirror. So that's, uh, for us, it's the little mirror on our eye. That's the glasses. So, 我的眼睛, my glass, 也, also, 也, also, 也是, also, are, also, sorry, also is black. All right. So the whole sentence, my glasses are also black. So my eyes are black and my glasses are also black. 我的眼睛是黑色的。我的眼睛也是黑色的。Alright, Okay, uh, this one, 我, I, 
今天 today. This one one means to forget, to forget. All right. I today forget to do what? This one, 眼镜 Quick review. Remember glasses. All right. This is our new word, 戴戴 All right. This one means to wear, and normally we refer to not wear the jacket, but the small pieces. Like、uh, your ring, your reckless, your glasses, those small pieces, the decoration, all right. So, I today forgot to wear my glasses. 我今天忘戴眼镜了 right? I forgot to wear glasses today. Yes, perfect. And next one. 他喜欢穿黑色的西服。戴蓝色的领带。All right, it's a long one. Try to follow me. 他喜欢穿黑色的西服，戴蓝色的领带。Great. Here, 他 he. All right, 他 he. 喜欢 to like. He likes to. This one, Chuan, is to wear another wear. All right. This one, Chuan. This one, Chuan, is to wear the jacket, the clothes. All right. So we have two words for wear. First, we have Dai, the new word. This one, Dai, to wear. And we have Chuan also to wear. The difference is for Chuan, the first one, Chuan. It used to wear the the closest, like、uh, here, xifu, the blue one, suit. All right, what happened? Okay, let's go through this first. Chuan means to wear closest, and this one dai means to wear decorations and including small small objects like the glasses. All right, so chuan, xifu, oh. We don't have translation for this. 黑色 that's the color black. So 黑色的西服 this one 西服 here suit, right suit. So 黑色的西服 black suit. He likes to wear black suit, right? And continue. 戴 to wear 蓝色 which color? That's the blue, right? 蓝色 blue. And this is our new word, 领带领带 That's the tie, all right. 领 actually means the neck. Oh, here the neck, 领 and 带 means the ribbon. So the ribbon on your neck, that would be a tie, all right. So, 他喜欢穿黑色的西服，戴蓝色的领带 He likes to wear black. Suit and wear blue tie. Next one. 我不知道怎么系领带。我不知道怎么系领带。Okay. First one. 知道 means to know. All right. 知道 means to know, and no, no, normally we're talking about the knowledge, know some knowledge or content. All right, so 我不知道 I don't know. All right, I don't know 怎么 how how to do is the tie. All right, 领带 tie, and this is our new word 系系 This one 系 mean to tie. All right. The tie. Here, mark the pronunciation as she. That is used for the non for the pronunciation she. But when it is used as a verb to tie, we use the pronunciation g. All right, j i for stone g. So I don't know how to. I don't know how to tie. The tie. All right. Next one. 这位是中国文化部参赞张先生。With me. 
这位是中国文化部参赞张先生。All right, first the blue word, 文化部。文化部 ，that's the supplementary word from the previous class. It's the Department of Culture. All right. Department of Culture, and this is our new word, 参赞参赞 That's counselor, all right. So 这位 all right. This way is the major word for person, all right. Not here. Way is the major word for person, a polite one. So if you you are introducing a counselor, you must be polite, all right. 这位 this. Is she is, China China, culture the culture department, 参赞 counselor, 张先生 Mr. Zhang, alright, Mr. Zhang. So this is the counselor. This is Mr. Zhang, the counselor of Chinese culture department. Here, perfect translation. The counselor of Chinese minister of culture. Next one. We already learned this one. Just a quick review. 你刚说什么 What's the meaning of this one? 你刚说什么 What did you just What did you just say? 你刚说什么 What did you just said? And this one, 刚 just or just now, right? 刚 just or just now. And here, this is our new sentences. This is our new sentence. 你刚才说什么？你刚才说什么 ？All right, that's perfect translation here. 你你说什么 ？What did you talk? What did you say? And this one, 刚才 just or just now. All right. So now we have two words to mean just now. One is 刚才 another one is 刚 Itself, all right. Here, let me give you the difference.、Uh, this one, "gang" means just or just now. It refers to only the very short period that's just before the action you are doing for now. For example, 你刚说什么 means what did you say just now? Just before I say the sentence, just before I say the sentences. That's, And this one, 刚才 means just now. It could be it could be a longer time. So normally when we use this one, 刚才 just now, we're referring to what did you say for the past few minutes or even、uh, even longer than that. So what did you just mention? What did you just talking about? There is a slight difference. 你刚说什么 means what you just said. So normally when we say 你刚说什么 To refer to, I'm not hear you clearly. I didn't hear you clearly. I want you to repeat for that for that kind of situation. But 你刚才说什么 is I try to pick up the topic we just talked about. All right. So that's a slight difference between these two. Next one, quite simple. I think you already learn. I I think you already know this one. 我喜欢听音乐 With me, 我喜欢听音乐 I like this one. 听 to listen to 音乐 music. All right, this one. 听 is to listen to. I explain this in order to pick up our next sentences. 你刚说什么 What did you just say? 我没听见 All right, with me. 我没听见 I didn't hear you. This one, 听见 means to hear with a result. All right. This one, 听 itself means to listen. Just to focus on the action to listen, and the 听见 with this one, 见见 actually means to see. So 听见 is something you have a result. Altogether, 听见 means to hear with the result. So 我没听见 Sorry, I didn't hear you. I don't get the message. I don't get the information, right? And the next one, 我听见你在叫我 with me. 
，我听见你在叫我。I 听见 hear and hear is heard. I heard, I heard that 你 you 在叫我 This one is 在 before an action means ongoing doing. So you are calling me. I heard that you're calling me. I heard that you are calling me. Okay. So here, 听见 and 听 One is focused on the action to listen. One focuses on the result to hear. It's the same with 看 and 看见 All right. 看 means to look, and 看见 means to see. All right. Let me put it here. 看看见 Right, one that means to look, another one means to see. Also, one focus on the action itself, another one focus on the result. And we have another new word involved: the word to listen. This one, 听说 Right, with me. 听说你要去中国了 One more time. 听说你要去中国了 This one, 听说听 means to listen to, right? And 说 means to speak, to speak. So I heard something from other person. I heard about. All right, 听说 means I heard about. So 听说你要去中国了 You. This one, 要 before an action means want to. All right, and here refers to going to. You want to go to China. You are going to China. Here, for this situation, is you are going to China. You are about to go to China. Let me see other verb. No, not in here. 你要去中国了 You are going to China. I heard that you are going to China. Right. So we have 听 listen to, 听见 to hear, and 听说 I heard about. Heard about. Next one. <clears throat> 我以前在中国工作。With me， 我以前在中国工作。All right， this is our new word。以前 means before or in the past。All right， before or in the past。So， 我 I in the past 在中国工作 ，work in。China, all right. And here, perfect translation. I used to work in China. So the function is when you use 以前 alone, it means in the past. When you use 以前 alone, it means in the past. And you can also use it after a more specific time to mean before that time. All right. Let's take a look at the second usage from the second sentence. 五年以前，我在中国工作。五年以前，我在中国工作。See， 五年 five years 以前 before before five years five years ago perfect。我在中国工作 ，I worked in China。That's perfect translation。Five years ago I work in China。So the the two usage when you use 以前 alone it means in the past generally refers to a past experience, and if you use 以前 after a more specific time it means how long ago, all right. And the same one as this, 以后 that one 以后以 actually lost its meaning but merely refers to this. So 以前 means this before, or combined means before, and 以后 this 后 is behind. Rem, remember, 后 is behind. So behind this point, it means after, 以后 after, right? So it's the same usage. If you say 我以后在中国工作 it means I works in China after this in the future, right? 五年以后 means after five years. So when you see the movie, 
and you see, uh, let's skip forward, say, five years later, have the subtitle on, then skip to five years later. Next one. 你吃过中国菜吗? 你吃过中国菜吗? This 过 is our new word. When we use 过, we would put 过 after an action. It means past tense. And it's talking about the past experience. Alright? So you 吃 to eat. 吃过. 吃过. Alright, that's past tense. And 中国菜, that's Chinese cuisine. And then pop out. 中国, China. And 菜 means dish. And here refers to the dish. So, 中国菜, Chinese dish, Chinese cuisine. So, that's perfect translation to talk about experience. Have you ever tried Chinese food? Right? And the same one. 你去过中国吗? I'm not going to put it here. 你去过中国吗? Have you ever been to China? Alright, next one. With me. 怪不得 怪不得 Altogether, no wonder. Alright, 怪 means weird. 怪 means strange, yes, yeah, strange or weird. And 不得 is not so. It's not so weird altogether, not so weird, no wonder. Alright, 怪不得 And here, 怪不得您会说汉语 Okay. 怪不得您会说汉语 No wonder that you could speak Chinese, okay? No wonder you could speak Chinese. Next one. 你的汉语这么好 Let's take a look at the first part. 你的汉语这么好 Alright, your Chinese is, this is our new word, 这么, 这么 as so, right? And how it's good. So, your Chinese is so good. The next part. 是不是和张老师学的? With me. 是不是和张老师学的? 是不是 is it or not? That's why. 是 means is and 不是 means not. 是不是 is it or not? Is it? 和 with and or with. And I'm here. 和 with. 张老师, teacher, 张, alright, 张, 老师, teacher, with teacher, 张, 学, study, 学的, function word at the end, is it, is it that you learn from Mr. 张, <laughs> so your Chinese is so good, did you learn from Mr. 张, uh, you should say yes, of course, okay, our last, Sentence. 你的汉语这么流利, right? Let's me one more time. 你的汉语这么流利, right? 你的汉语, you are Chinese. 这么, so, right? So, and this is our new word. 流利, 流利 to mean fluent, right? 你的汉语这么流利, your Chinese is so fluent. Or there's another saying, 你说汉语很流利. 你说汉语很流利. That means you speak Chinese very fluently. Right? You speak Chinese very fluently. Or there's another thing, you could move the object to speak Chinese forward like this. 你说汉语说得很流利. 
，你说汉语说的很流利。You speak Chinese speak so fluently. This one the is the function word. It's the function word to connect the action with the description of the action. All right. So you speak Chinese speak so fluently. All right. These two, three way to express your Chinese is so fluent. You speak Chinese so fluent, so fluently. You can use either of them. I speak of the difference between them during our face-to-face -face course. All right. And、uh, here your homework. I'd like you to、uh, before the class generally think about how to talk about your education background and the working experience in Chinese. It'd be quite useful if you want to introduce yourself to. To the Chinese people, especially the working partners. All right. So, I I study how long at some place. I study several subjects, and I work. I worked how long in the which company, and I'm in charge of the work of which field. All right. I'm responsible for what kind of job. Okay.、Uh, that's all for this course. Let me repeat all the sentences for you. First one, 一站在那儿别动。来，站在我的旁边。二，我的眼睛是黑色的，我的眼镜也是黑色的。三，我今天忘戴眼镜了。四，他喜欢穿黑色的西服。戴蓝色的领带。五，我不知道怎么系领带。六，这位是中国文化部参赞张先生。七，你刚说什么？你刚才说什么？八。我喜欢听音乐。九，你刚说什么？我没听见。我听见你在叫我。十，听说你要去中国了。十一，我以前在中国工作。五年以前，我在中国工作。十二，你吃过中国菜吗？你去过中国吗？十三，怪不得，怪不得您会说汉语。十四。你的汉语这么好，是不是和张老师学的？十五，你的汉语这么流利，你说汉语很流利，你说汉语说的很流利。All right, that's all for today. See you next Tuesday.